Hi friends, today we are going to read Clifford and the Grouchy Neighbors by Norman Birdwell. Do you like dogs? I'm Emily Elizabeth and my dog's name is Clifford. Most people like him. But once we had neighbors who didn't like Clifford at all. Clifford wanted to make friends with them anyhow. Every day he went across the street to visit. The neighbors acted as if he wasn't there. Clifford isn't perfect. He scratches himself, as all dogs do. Sometimes his fur would blow into the neighbor's yard. They didn't like that. And sometimes Clifford snores at night. At night. Snort, rumble, wee, snort, rumble, wee, snort. Snort. Even a little snoring bothered them. But Clifford liked them. He liked to listen to the women singing. Once he sang along, he sang a little too loudly. Clifford couldn't seem to do anything right. When he sat by the fence, the man complained that Clifford blocked the sun from his plants. One day, Clifford noticed that the tree blocked the sun too. He took care of the tree for the man. But the people were not pleased. Clifford put the tree back. After that, I told Clifford to stay away from the neighbors. We saw them at the shopping mall. We didn't go near them. Then Clifford saw their shopping cart roll away from while they opened their car. He tried to stop the cart. What a mess. Poor Clifford. Poor people. I told Clifford to never, never, never go near the neighbors again. Look, he's sad. He's crying. Clifford stayed on his side of the street. He would sit and watch the man feed the birds. Clifford wished the man liked him as much as he liked the birds. One day, Clifford saw some workmen at the neighbor's house. They were putting in water, new water pipes. Clifford went over to watch. Clifford could see that into the neighbor's yard. Uh-oh. The birds were in trouble. Why do you think the birds are in trouble? Look, what is that? Is that a cat? Clifford knew he couldn't go in the neighbor's yard, so he picked up a water pipe and took a deep breath. and vacuum the cat right out of the yard. That was a very surprised cat. The neighbors thanked Clifford for saving the birds. He's not such a bad dog after all, they said. Good old Clifford. I hope you like this story and have a wonderful day.